Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WS Cube Tag and in this video we are going to write a Python program about like what we need to do is we are going to take the input from the user as a list okay so we want a list uh, to be accepted from the user and what we need to do is we need to just uh, uh, separate this even numbers and the odd numbers into two different lists alright so you can just see this problem statement over here which is written that we need to just write a Python program to put even and odd numbers in a list into two different lists all right so we are just, just going to separate that out okay so the first step over here is that you need to just accept a list from the user all right and in order to just accept a list over here the first step over here is that you need to just ask your user that how many elements that user wants to insert into the list all right and that thing i'm just going to ask the user so what i will simply do over here is that i will just say uh, ask the user that input enter the total number of elements the total number of elements the user wishes to enter inside the list okay so i've written this enter the total number of elements the user wishes to enter inside the list all right and what i will simply do over here is that i will just store this inside a variable so say that let's call this as n over here and i will just do a type conversion over here okay so i will just uh, let my python know that this particular thing which i'm just going to accept from the user is a integer value and not a string anymore all right because by default python understands that this particular thing is a string okay if we don't write this int over here but i have to mention that thing that this particular value would be an integer and so i'm doing a type casting over here okay so i have uh, done this thing okay so my first step is over over here now what i will simply do is i will just create a variable that is l and i will just uh, this would be my list so i'm just creating an empty list over here all right and the next step over here is that uh, now when the user says that uh, I wish to enter four elements inside my list over here. Now our next goal over here is that I need a, something that uh, in order to just accept each element from the user. All right. And for that purpose, I'm just going to make use of this range over here. So let's do that out. So what I will simply do is I will just say that for, okay, uh, take any variable over here. So say that I just take that for I in a uh, for i in range all right and uh, what range i need to pass over here i need to pass here the user input all right so uh, if the user says that four so this particular for loop will work for four times over here all right so now uh, at each iteration what i want i would just want to accept the uh, input from the user and in order to do that thing i'm just going to take this input okay so i'm just going to ask that enter the element all right so it i will just say enter the element and I will just store this inside a variable. So say that I will just call this as element over here. And I will do a type conversion or you can just say that type casting over here. So I am just going to say that this is my int over here. Alright. Alright, fine. And what I want to do over here is that I just want to put this element, uh, whatever the element I am taking from the user, I just want to put that thing inside my list over there. And we have a method called append for that purpose with respect to this list over here. So what I will simply do is I will just say l dot append, all right. And what I want to append this element, okay. So I, I'm just appending this element, okay, which I'm just taking from the user, all right. And uh, what I will simply do is once I have done with this now, uh, at last I will just print my list, okay. So I will just uh, say that this is my list over here, okay. And I will just pass this l over here. So because uh, when I will just do this append, so at at last my list would be ready over here. So what we'll do, we'll just first run this thing over here, okay. Uh, so if I just say that uh, three elements over here, I want total elements three inside my list. So uh, the range, uh, this uh, uh, this for loop has started executing and it will just execute for the three times over here. So it says that enter the element. So say that I just entered two over here, then I enter 12 and say I enter this 34 over here. So you can see that I have taken this input from the user. So this is my list, all right. So this is my list that is 12, uh, 2, 12 and 34. All right. So our first goal is over over here. Now our second goal over here is that now what I want to do over here is that now I need to separate this out. Okay. So as you can see over here. So these are all you can you say these are all even numbers over here. So what I simply want to do is uh, suppose the user enters even an odd number. Okay. In a, uh, this way. So I need to just separate that out. So in order to do that thing what I will simply do is uh, I will just create uh, two more lists over here with the name that it would be for the even numbers and for the odd numbers. So they say that I just call this L uh, 
E over here, okay. This is my empty list, okay. So this is for the even numbers and this is for the odd numbers, all right. So this would be my for the odd numbers over here. All right. Now what I need to do over here, we know that uh, in order to just apply this logic for the even and odd. So if I just apply this for the even number that uh, if uh, a particular value is, uh, if it is divisible, okay, by 2, okay, and if the value comes that uh, is equal to the 0 over here, so that particular number is even, all right, means we are dividing by the 2, okay. So if I just divide any number by the 2, okay, and my answer comes that if it is equal to the 0, so that particular number is uh, even number. Now for that, what I will simply do is we'll just go step by step over here. So say that I got this list, right? I got this list over here. Now, I, what I want to do is I want to just fetch these elements one by one, okay? So that is I want 2, 12, 34. So for that, what I need to use is I need to use for loop. So I will just say for i in L and print i, okay? Now let's see what this happens over here, okay? So if I just run this thing once again, okay? And if I just say I want total three elements over here, and if I just say 12, 13, 14, okay? So, you, as I said that, I just wanted this thing in one after the another, okay? That is 12, then 13, then 14, okay? I got this thing, okay? Now, the reason why I wanted this thing over here is that because I need to compare this 12 uh, with that, uh, uh, is, is this 12 is divisible by 2 or not. And for that, what I need to do over here is that I need to say that uh, I will just uh, clear this thing. So, we know that in I what is happening, okay? In I, each element is getting accessed at each iteration, okay? So what I need to do is I will uh, make one condition over here. So I will just say if this i, okay. So I will just say this i, if this i is uh, mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0. Because you know this modulus what it will do, it checks for the remainder, right. So I am just saying that if this i, uh, say for example in this, if this 12 uh, modulus 2, okay, is equal to is equal to 0. Now what you need to do, you append this thing, okay. So what do you do? You append this thing uh, that is L underscore E1, okay, dot append and what you need to append this I, okay. I, I hope that you have understood this thing. I will repeat this thing once again. We know that in for loop what is happening, it is just going to fetch each element at each iteration. So say for example, 12 will come over here. So 12 in L. Now if this 12 modulus 2, if this remainder is equal to is equal to 0, this, uh, the, uh, this, this, we have uh, created this empty list over here. So I need to append this. I need to put this element inside this. So I'm just saying that L underscore E1 list dot append and this I. So this 12 will go here. All right. That's it. And in the else part, what I will do is else. Okay. So I will simply say that L underscore odd dot append this I. Okay. So if suppose this 13 comes in the next iteration. So it will just come up over here. If 13 modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0. So, it's not. So, it will just go inside this. It will get added inside this list of odd list. That's it. And what I will simply do at the end, I will just print my list. So, I'm just going to print. So, this is my uh, even list and I will just, uh, uh, this, this is my even list over here and similarly, I will just print for the odd list. And once I'm just going to run this thing and what I will do, let's take that six elements over here, okay. And I will just take it in a sequence so that uh, it becomes easy. So, I will, what I will do, I will just say that let it be 2, 3, 4, 7, okay. So, I have taken the six elements over here, okay. So, this is my list, original list over here, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can see this even list, so it is 2, 4, 6 and the odd list is 3, 5, 6. That's simple. You know, you just need to be, uh, need to go just step by step over here. It's not that thing that... Uh, you need to code this thing so you need to just uh, mug up or something like that or just you need to write all the code at once just simply just follow that you need to just go step by step you know everything over here the thing over here is that you just need to go step by step in one after the another whenever you just see a program statement over here just make sure that when you're just saying that okay you need to take accept the list from the user first take the accept the list from the user first just run that out just, just see that what your output you're getting and all then apply the next logic and next logic and so on like that. And uh, you will just, I know that you will just get to this thing over here, okay. So this is how it works over here. So basically what I did over here is that uh, the thing over here is that I just took a list from the user, okay. 
and once i have the list over here what i did over here is that i just made use of this for i in l and i just made you realize that what is exactly happening inside this variable i so that was the reason i just printed at i so with that thing you uh, you came to a conclusion yes uh, in i each element is getting fetched one after the another all right so we know that in i each element is getting access now in each element we need to compare that thing we need to find this modulus of that thing so i have done that if that i uh, uh, divided by 2 okay and i have just uh, used this modulus so this modulus will what it will just give you the remainder so if the remainder is equal to 0 so we know that it is it's an even number right so what i have done i i need to append this thing inside my l uh, underscore e, e, uh, e1 okay so i'm just appending that thing and if that another number comes so say for example 3 comes over here so this 3 uh, will not give you the uh, remainder 0 when divided by 2 so it simply says that it, it will be just appended inside the another list which i just named it as l underscore o which stands for this uh, list of odd and simply at the end i just printed as this uh, list even list and odd list over here and you can just see this thing okay so i just took the input from the user so i just said that i want to give six inputs so this range will work for the six times this one two three four five six all right and this was my list over here and then i created i just printed this even list and odd so i hope that you have understood with this thing okay so if you just like this video so hit the like buttons share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video